kind of found my love for the sport again and kind of found joy within my life. And this is very important, especially since... Well, my biggest goal, like I said, was to love the sport that I love doing. And like I said, I never wanted to walk away and, and hate what I love doing. And my biggest goal is to just go out there and just do the best that I can at this point. And, um, well, fans are definitely excited to have her back after years of being off the mat, so to speak. And as you all know, her comeback is very timely, what with the Paris Olympics. In fact, the 28-year-old American gymnastics legend entered 2024 intending to qualify for the Paris Olympics. Uh-huh, that's right. With plenty of Olympic experience under her belt, U.S. gymnast Gabby Douglas is set to make her way to Paris this summer to participate in the Games for the third time. When we say she has plenty of experience, we weren't kidding or exaggerating. The gymnastics veteran has swept up plenty of accolades throughout her career, taking home the all-around champion title at her first Summer Olympic Games in London in 2012 and leading the U.S. team to victory at Rio de Janeiro in 2016. She also won gold medals in both 2012 and 2016 as part of the Fierce Five and Final Five of the U.S. women's team in artistic gymnastics and nabbed the title of World All-Around Silver Medalist at the young age of 20. That's not even all. Her wins were not only milestone moments for the gymnast herself as they marked a significant era in her sport. Douglas is the first African-American to take home the title of individual all-around champion at the Olympics and the only American at the time to also bring home the same title for team competitions in 2012. As you can imagine, all the pressure and rigorous training can take a toll on oneself. After all, being an athlete can be demanding, both physically and mentally. Gabby Douglas is no exception. As most of you know, Douglas last competed at the 2016 Rio Olympics, where she helped the Americans claim a second straight gold in the team competition. Although she took an extended break from the sport, she never officially retired. I've never announced any sort of retirement, and I honestly, deep, deep down, I I didn't, I never wanted to like fully give it up. Perhaps she just really needed to step back and get her bearings, in a manner of speaking. I love competition. I think that's my favorite part and I missed it. And I was like, like, how do I kind of like get this kind of out, like this competitive spirit in nature? And I the like itch to come back returned while watching the 2022 U.S. Championships and she spent the better part of the last two years in training in the Dallas area to try to make the five-woman U.S. team that will be heavily favored to win gold in Paris this summer. And while I was working out, I felt super light and energized. And I was like, wow, maybe I can kind of like go back in the gym and just, you know, see what I can do. Now the three-time Olympic gold medalist is officially back. Whether the gymnastics star's return to the sport carries all the way to the Paris Olympics remains to be seen. Her comeback, however, has been shrouded in mystery. She was supposed to compete at the Winter Cup in February, but she pulled out of the competition just days before after testing positive for COVID-19. She finally competed for the first time in eight years at the American Classic in Katy, Texas in late April. Douglas walked out onto the floor about an hour before the competition and showed flashes of what turned her into a star in London. Her double-twisting Yurichenko on vault had plenty of amplitude, and on bars, her best event, she had the pieces of a routine that would certainly be competitive at the elite level. While that may be the case, Douglas still came off bars twice, and her floor routine lacked the crispness and endurance to stack up with what will be required for anyone hoping to make a serious bid for the Olympic team. It goes without saying that on her first competitive appearance in nearly a decade in a training gym, it seemed like Douglas couldn't channel her adrenaline to overcome the nerves of her highly anticipated debut. Still, she successfully qualified to compete in the U.S. championships, putting her on a path to compete at the Olympic Games in Paris this summer. The 28-year-old looked rusty in spots and promising in others while posting a score of 50.65 in the all-around. In fact, she finished 10th in the all-around, but her scores on the vault and the balance beam qualified Douglas to compete in the two events at the U.S. Championships. Nevertheless, she performed as well as can be expected on her first competition back. 
She landed one of the best vaults of the afternoon, but then proceeded to fall twice on what was once one of her best events, the uneven bars. She ultimately fell roughly one-third of a point shy of the 51 points she needed to qualify for all-around competition at this year's national championships, which will begin on May 30th, though she did accumulate enough points to qualify in two events, vault and balance beam. Obviously, fans are eagerly awaiting Gabby's next competition. She'd been gone for eight years, after all. In fact, the recently concluded U.S. Classic in Hartford, Connecticut had been much anticipated by many since, for the first time in history, three women's Olympic all-around champions, Gabby Douglas, Simone Biles, and Sunisa Lee, will compete in the same event as they each vie to return to another Olympics. I love this generation. Douglas shared a few days before the event. We're pushing the boundaries and saying, hey, you don't have to be 16 and dominate. You can be in your 20s and still eat. She further shared, I missed gymnastics. I loved it, and it ended rough for me in 2016, so I didn't want to end on that note. Regardless of the outcome, I want to end on love and joy instead of hating something that I love. Gabby Douglas hoped to see the U.S. Classic, a key Olympic qualifying event, as a springboard to secure her spot in the team heading to Paris this summer. However, the 2012 Olympic all-around and team champion struggled on the uneven bars, falling twice before she withdrew from the rest of the remaining events. When she tried again, the fans chanted her name to show their support. Douglas was aiming to gain an all-around qualification score, 51, for the upcoming championships later this month, but she posted just a 10.100 after falling twice on the uneven bars. A few minutes later, USA Gymnastics confirmed that Douglas had withdrawn from the event. USAG said in a tweet, Gabby Douglas is scratching the remainder of Core Classic. The withdrawal means the 28-year-old will fail to qualify for the all-around in the U.S. championship set to begin May 30th. To be fair, Douglas faced obstacles before the competition even began. Nearly 12 hours before her practice session was scheduled to begin in Hartford, Douglas's flight out of Dallas was canceled due to storms in the area. Through her agent, Douglas was able to catch a flight on a private jet arriving in Hartford early in the morning. Douglas reported she only got two hours of sleep, but looked strong in training and even showed a few new skills including a double layout on floor and a tucked standing full on the balance beam. Douglas has qualified for the U.S. Championships on vault, uneven bars, and balance beam based on her performance at the American Classic last month, but is not eligible to petition to compete in the all-around. Notably, Douglas was not the only athlete to pull out of the competition. Heading into the second rotation, 2022 U.S. National Champion Connor McLean, who posted a 14.200 on balance beam in the first rotation, sustained an injury while warming up on the floor exercise. McLean was taken off the competition floor in a wheelchair and scratched the remainder of the competition. For Douglas, she said that no matter the outcome this summer, her quest to make the Paris team is as much about ending her career on her terms as it is about proving she's one of the best five gymnasts in the country right now. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself, she said. I'm just going to take it one step at a time, and then we'll go from there. The upcoming Paris Olympics is definitely putting pressure on a lot of athletes out there, including this one.